Modern Lego trains are not what they used to be. Lego trains. For years, Lego has had awesome trains from classic sets like the Metro Liner, the Yellow Train, the Red Train, etc. These trains provided many with the joy of Lego trains. And today, we have a half a train. And this, which granted, does include some pretty good vehicles. But overall, it wastes space with an electric car station. And the previous set had to include a bank robbery to make it appealing for kids. Wait, what? And then we have the passenger trains. We had the green train that is pretty cool, but at the end of the day, it is just half a train. You need to buy two to have a full train. And the previous LEGO train that was released was also half a train. Sure, it has a pretty cool color scheme. It looks like a Nero star. And well, the problem is that LEGO used to make great sets. So let me take you back to the past to see some LEGO trains that were great. What year is it? Well, sometime in the 80s. In the past, you used to have sets like this, a steam locomotive with two wagons. Not only do you get a steam locomotive, you also get some passenger wagons. Additionally, it came with many stickers. Now, let's take a look at the cargo version. It comes with 12 V track, which has all the power and the locomotive is also powered. You get some kind of tanker and much more, so there is a lot you can do here. Compared to the modern version, it has all the essentials for a cargo train, instead of useless stuff. For instance, the 7720 featured battery. This time, it even included a crossing, so that you can have car accidents. Another great locomotive was 7750. It includes only a locomotive, but a great one at that. There was also 7810, which was so great, LEGO made a gift with purchase for it. And that is the opportunity LEGO is missing. Why not remake these sets and release them to the wide public, instead of a gift with purchase, which is a limited time release that not many people can get. I also like 7760, which was a diesel blue train. It looked great. Now, let's talk about bigger sets, like the iconic 7740. This yellow and red train looks great. Sure, it might be similar to some modern train sets. However, it offers so much more. The problem with modern LEGO trains is that they don't release them that much. Sure, we do get LEGO City trains and sometimes Harry Potter trains and even sometimes a crocodile locomotive-like set. However, most of the time, we as LEGO train fans feel left out. Why doesn't LEGO have a dedicated trains theme? Well, that has probably to do with the fact that there are not many people who would buy them. Sure, I would probably buy all of them, but the market might not be big enough. And you also have to include the fact that many people don't have the money to have a dedicated trains theme at home. But I think some kind of series could work. Soon LEGO will be releasing a new train, the LEGO Orient Express. This was an idea set and it was approved. So when this set comes out, maybe LEGO realized that there is a huge market for LEGO trains. After all, there are so many model railroad sets and many people buy them and they are super expensive. Also, I would like to note that we should not take the fun out of LEGO from people. After all, there are so many LEGO fans that don't really care about trains and we don't want to ruin the fun for them, right? Now let's move to the 90s. This is when we saw the incredible yellow station. There was also a red version, but this is one of my favorite LEGO stations with its detail and ornamentation. It looks incredible. LEGO did kind of remake it for LEGO City, but it was nowhere near this good. The only LEGO station I can compare it to is the new Brinklink Stuttgart station, which was very hard to get and of course I don't have it. But the 90s also saw the iconic Metro Liner. The Metro Liner looks like a Nam track train with its color scheme. It was a great set. It included almost everything you need for a train. But the best part of it that sets itself apart from modern trains is that it had an expansion, the iconic club car. This is a great addition to the Metro Liner with its semi panoramic windows and the detailed interior. This is why this is a must have collector set for many LEGO fans, even known train fans. The train remains to this day iconic, but there was also the important red cargo train. This set exemplifies what cargo is. You get many minifigures moving cargo and well, a lot of cargo. There was also a yellow version. It had more variety in terms of cargo. It even includes a truck 
there was also this crane that was sold separately. Imagine if in 2024 or 2023 LEGO released a train wagon that was sold separately. That would be the dream of many LEGO fans. There was even a red crocodile locomotive back in the day. Now many LEGO train fans argue that the last great trains were made during the My Own Train period. This theme was known by many train fans for its attention to detail and of course many trains. The difference with My Own Train is that the attention was geared towards realism with real-life train companies like Santa Fe and BNSF, which is basically the same company, right? Unfortunately, my own train did not last forever. After that, most LEGO trains would be subject to the LEGO City theme, like the beautiful ICE looking train, which I like for its nice design, but one engine is smaller than the other. Well, that is because of the old motor that used to be attached to the train base. There was also the beautiful green deluxe cargo train, however, there was a significant lack of trains for adults after this. Sure, we got the Musk and the beautiful Emerald Express, however, there was a feeling something was missing and that were individual coaches and wagons that could be sold separately. Imagine expanding your train to have 5 wagons, let's say, or having a big passenger train that fills up your entire LEGO city. Well, currently LEGO doesn't have an option to buy just the coaches, unfortunately. This is something I think LEGO is missing out on, specifically in terms of profit, because I would buy them. Now guys, I strongly suggest that you click that subscribe button, why? Well, because we're going to be releasing many videos about LEGO trains, and you don't want to miss that out. Additionally, if you want more content, you could click that join button and become an official member of my YouTube channel. Why? Well, because you get exclusive access to a new video I release talking about everything you need to build a great LEGO city. You don't want to miss that out as includes details that I don't see many people talking about. So be sure to click that join button as well guys. I remember when LEGO released the Crocodile Locomotive. I was excited for more to come, but nothing big came of it. There is a new Orient Express that is supposed to come sometime soon. This is a LEGO Ideas project and it was approved by LEGO. In fact, there are a lot of LEGO train projects on ideas that need support. LEGO Ideas is a platform where anyone can post their projects and if they get to 10,000 supporters, they can become a real LEGO set. However, getting 10,000 supporters is not easy and many projects unfortunately fail to do so. However, there is a way you can actually support these ideas projects and hopefully one day we could have more LEGO trains via ideas. In fact, I made a video where I talk about incredible LEGO ideas projects you should support right now, like this incredible Flying Scotsman. And how do you support this? And how do you check them out? Well, by clicking the video on the screen right now. See you there, guys. Mm -hmm.